Mount Pleasant wants to have a new set of zoning codes finished by the end of this year. Melissa Rademacher talked to town leaders and staff about why and what that means if you live within town limits. I think it's important to note that um, this is our first wholesale update of our zoning code since 1979. So a lot of things have changed in Mount Pleasant since that time. Of course, throughout the years, uh, we've seen a lot of amendments to it. So a lot of piecemeal changes, which resulted in a lot of inconsistencies throughout the codes. Mount Pleasant leaders and staff say the new zoning rules are all about balancing responsible development and protecting the resources of the town. The new version adds tree protection for pines and extends them for grand oaks, now requiring replacement trees to be planted in certain instances and levies a fee for cutting. The code creates a process for approving hubs, referring to mixed use or development centers. They are meant to exist as their own community away from the currently congested main corridor. Equally important, what you won't see is nobody's property is going to get rezoned. This won't change the use or the zoning of anyone's property. Um, any new districts are, are going to be overlays that town council would apply. Notably, the town's seven year ban on building apartments expires at the end of this year, allowing mixed use and diverse housing to be built again. My hope is that with this zoning code, we'll have an, ad an additional tool to encourage some affordable, uh, attainable housing in our community, which is super important. The code has a neutral content sign ordinance and is also considering approving of murals. The planning committee will be able to make a few final changes before sending this draft to town council for two readings. Reporting in Mount Pleasant, Melissa Rademacher, Live 5 News.